what made you move to Fife? Like, you know, if you didn't know the toxicity before. Well, no, nah, yeah, it was it was definitely apparent. I didn't, um, but no, the whole Fife move. So when it came time to open my own studio, I'm obviously from Fife originally, and the plan was to move back to Fife. Mm -hmm. um, and then obviously we got pregnant, and that then changed. But by that point, the shop was already there. Um, and obviously Charlie's sort of family network in regards to like for Ragnar and everything was here. Whereas at that point in time, my mum was still working, stepfather was still working. And so as far as childcare went, yep. I never had that network in Fife. So it kind yep. of seems silly to, to move that way. So it was easier to move the shop. And the shop I'm in now, I kept driving past it. And I was like, that'd be fucking class. It's a good spot. Really good spot. Kind of it's on the street, but it's not on the street because I'm up and I'm at the end, so I can fucking block it off. Yep. And well, I've put my gate right across that path. Huh? Um, so I just phoned the boy. What's the crack? He's like, I've got someone coming to to put a deposit down on Monday. I'm like, well, I'll come and put a deposit on it now. Where are yeah. you? He's like, I need to see if I can hear back about. Well, fuck him. I'm I'm here. He might not show up Monday. I'm ready. And he's like, ah, fuck it, sound. A bird in the hand's worth two in the bush. Is that For anybody out there, listen to that bit. Mikey's talking sense here. See this, I'll think about it nonsense, I'll get back to you. Don't Somebody's them. just going to come in there, you you yep. don't close seal the deal. Yep. Get it done. Yep. No ifs, buts, or maybes. That's it. Uh,